Hello financial fans, had another good week in the market. I actually made money this uh, past week, this week. Uh, I sold one stock. The one stock I sold is a stock that I've been holding on to since November 23rd, so it's less than a year, so I'll pay the high tax rate, the capital gains tax on a short-term uh, investment. And uh, I sold my shares of PBF for $16.29 and I paid $7.72.5 for them back in November. So I uh, made a total of 111% which was nice and on that uh, one trade and I did not buy anything new this past week. I now have 45 stocks in my portfolio but always on the lookout for something else. And remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm telling you what I do in the market. I buy stocks, I sell stocks. And we certainly can have a conversation about the stocks without uh, me telling you what to buy or sell. That would be up to you to decide. But uh, we'll look at a few issues here that seem interesting to me. Hopefully you'll find them interesting and we will begin by looking at A, G, N, C. And we'll look at the closing price on Friday, May 28, 2021, $18.54. That's the uh, A, G, N, C, which is A, G, N, C Investment Corporation, symbol A, G, N, C. I do own this stock. And in the first column on the left, two-thirds of the way down, 52-week range. It was as low as $12.43 a share and as high as $18.67, so it's almost at its 52-week uh, high right now at $18.54. At the bottom of the first column on the left, the average volume, about 6.5 million shares trade each day. And all the way down to the bottom of that first column, it says it's overvalued. This is Yahoo Pages. And one of the financial experts who has looked at this stock assumes that it is overvalued. Um, the middle column, third item down, P.E. ratio, 3.36. I don't think I've ever seen anything lower than that at a P.E. ratio. That's very good. The low numbers are good for a P.E. ratio. And go down a little bit farther to the forward dividend and yield. A lucky 7.77% is the current yield. And uh, the one-year target estimate, they expect it to go down from 1854 to $17.98 a share. We shall see if that is right. That uh, dividend and yield look very good, and the P.E. ratio looks very good, and volume is nice. And, uh, and now we shall take a look at Chimera. Investment Corporation, Chimera Investment Corporation, CIM is a symbol. This is a stock I own. And the column on the left, uh, two-thirds of the way down, 52-week range, $8.05 to $14.16. So this one also is at its 52-week uh, high, more or less. Average volume, uh, uh, almost 2 million shares trade each day and again all the way down to the bottom of the first column on the left uh, the experts consider this to be overvalued meaning they expect it to go down in uh, price and uh, in the middle column third item down 6.34 again that's very good anything under 10 is a very good PE ratio and the earnings per share, uh, EPS right under the P.E. ratio, $2.23, which is quite good for uh, a stock that sells at the $14 level. Forward dividend and yield, 9.34%. That looks pretty good. The one-year target, they expect it to lose value and go down to $12.69. So we shall see what... Uh, happens there. I intend to be holding on to it, so I'll, I'll know if it does go down. The uh, next uh, stock we'll look at is CODX, 
Code Diagnostics Incorporated, $8.07. So this is a low price stock. And the first column, two thirds of the way down, 52 week range, $7 and a penny to $30.99. So it has been sliding down to $8.07. And the volume on an average day is slightly over 1 million shares trade. And the um, value rating all the way down to the bottom of the first column on the left, undervalued. They do expect this one to go up in value. Uh, the beta is interesting. It, uh, if you notice the minus sign, minus sign in front of the beta number 1.98, that means that it travels in a direction opposite the market. So if the market's going up, this one's going down. If the market's going down, this one's going up, and it goes up up or down twice as much as the market is moving. And that is uh, just sort of a general thing. It may or may not happen that way, but that is an interesting number that you don't see very often. P.E. ratio, you don't see this number very often for P.E. ratio, 4.67, a low P.E. ratio, that is a good thing. And no dividend on this stock. One year target uh, expectation is uh, $23, which would be uh, about three times as much as what it is right now, so we shall see if that comes uh, into uh, being a reality or CODX. Now we take a look at Takeda Pharmaceutical Company, symbol TAK, $17.09 was closing price on Friday. 52 week range, $15.30 to $20. It's a pretty tight range there. And the average volume, a little over 2.5 million shares trade each day. The um, Value rating is they consider it to be overvalued. They expect this one to go down in value. And uh, the uh, PE ratio in the middle or the third item down in the middle column, PE ratio 15.71, which is still reasonably low compared to the market, uh, the, the total market. The earnings per share, dollar nine, that's nice um, for a stock at $17. And the forward dividend and yield, about 5%. So that's nice, a one-year target estimate. $21.57, if it does move up to that, that would be a very nice uh, surprise for the holder that would make this uh, more or less a growth stock. And we shall see what happens. And I thank you very much for watching.